Ladies, gentlemen, and of course, everybody in between, welcome back to Out of Spec Renew. I'm your host, Declan Cav, and I've lied to you. Uh, yeah, last week I told you that we'd be doing another city car video this week. Um, I can't tell you why we're not doing another city car video this week, but I promise you, it's going to be worth it. Thanks to you guys, that video ended up doing incredibly well, uh, which caught the attention of some people who might... Never mind, I've already said too much. Thanks for getting that video views. It's going to be worth it, I promise. But this week uh, is Electrify Expo, uh, specifically this weekend uh, in Denver, and my cars are featured, uh, specifically this car and my other electric. But they're not nearly show ready. So in this video, we're going to go through their electronics, we're going to get them working, we're going to get them looking pretty, and then this weekend, I will see you all at Electrify Expo so you can check out these cars that I'm fixing up right now. Anyway, let's get into the video. Let's start with under the hood of my panel van. Welcome to under the hood of my panel van. Yeah, there's a lot going on under here and I kind of showed it all off in another video, so I'm not gonna walk through what everything under here is, uh, but it could definitely use a little bit of a cleanup and some of these wires could uh, stand to be organized. Yeah. So what I want to start with is I just want to give everything a quick wipe down, get all the pine needles that have made their way under here. Um, this is my daily driver car, so obviously it gets a little dirty under here. But let's wipe everything down. I've disconnected the high voltage, so there's no high voltage under here. And then let's organize the wires. So first, wipe down, then organize. Very straightforward. I don't know why I've said it twice now. To wash under the hood, uh, where there's a lot of sensitive electronics, we just use a spray bottle full of isopropyl alcohol and a fiber cloth towel. I find this works best and it's, it doesn't hurt the electronics and it evaporates really quick so you don't get any liquids pooling anywhere. So uh, I'm just going to go through, wipe everything down, and see what we're looking like after that. Okay, well I don't actually know if that helps at all. Um, but moving on, uh, let's go ahead and do some cable management under here because uh, yeah, it desperately needs that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, work with some of these low voltage cables first. Got some CAN cables running through here. There's just a lot that needs to be uh, organized. Anyway, let's do it. It's really hot out here. Well, it's kind of organized under here now. Um, you can kind of see that I did some work over in this area. That's still a mess, but I kind of hung up some wires that were hanging down over here and I kind of buttoned up this. So it looks a little bit more organized, but it's still a pretty big mess under here. And actually I just realized we're missing a part under here. Let me go grab that. I lied again. I'm doing a lot of that in this video. Uh, there's supposed to be a washer fluid reservoir right there, but I don't know where it went. Actually I do, it's up in the attic. But it's really hot out right now and the attic's going to be even hotter and I don't feel like making my way, uh, way up there. Especially because the attic, uh, the ladder to get up there is broken. So the only way for me to get up there is uh, that rock wall. Yeah, great system I have here in my garage. Anyway, that's what under the hood's going to look like for now. I will probably make a trip up to the attic later to get that washer fluid reservoir. But for now, this is as good as it's going to get. So yeah, let's move on. The next thing I want to work on is the sunroof because uh, if you can't tell, it's not there. Um, this took me forever to find a replacement part, but I did find a replacement part and it's an exact match of what it was from the factory. So uh, this is just going to be temporary because again, I want to paint underneath this, but uh, just get it riveted down just so for the event that it looks good. Man, is it dusty. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get this installed to the best of my abilities and just have it looking good. It doesn't have to be super functional. All right, so unfortunately, this is about as good as I can get the sunroof installed without it being permanent because um, it needs a little bit of modification to match the factory uh, car, but it's better than it was and at least it's there. So now what we want to do is we want to clean up the exterior of this car because there's a lot of dust, it's, it's pollen. There's a lot of pollen here in Colorado. So uh, yeah, let's get this car cleaned up. Uh, just to do it, we're just gonna uh, hit it with some uh, soapy water and we will uh, just wipe it down. Because the paint on this car is a little bit fragile because there's no clear coat. So uh, we don't wanna pressure wash or anything like that. 
All right, so let's just wipe this card down. It's not gonna be beautiful, it's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be better than it is now. All right, well, I also wiped down the inside of this car, but essentially that's all this car needed. Um, it's still a little dirty. I'll probably do some off-camera work with some goo gone and stuff like that. Just go a little bit harder on it. Um, but unfortunately, because this car has no clear coat, it does not hold up very well. Uh, like I said in past videos, this will be getting a new paint job at some point. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're gonna call this good enough. Also, if anyone has any suggestions on how to clean this windshield, I've used everything and there's still like streaks and dots on it. Would love to have some suggestions on how to clean that. Um, but yeah, for this car, we're gonna call this good enough to be at the show, except for a little bit of cleaning that I'm gonna do later. But the reason I wanna move on from this car so quickly is because the other car needs a little bit more work. So let me switch cars and let's work on the two plus two. Now, the first thing I wanna do uh, before uh, working on this car at all is I wanna check the battery's conditions because I don't drive this car ever uh, because there's a chance that it might not drive. I don't know. Uh, the controller is not in it right now. Um, so the way we do this is first we take off the back bumper and then we take off the cover back here and you can see there's our batteries. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a specialty tool to get these batteries out of this car. This is the battery sled. Every Electrek came with one of these. Imagine buying a new car and it comes with this. The idea behind this is so that your batteries can be easily swapped. So you could service them and water them because obviously these ran off of lead acid, which is actually what's in this car right now. So what you do is you take this rope on the end and you drag it all the way down. Oh, and then it gets stuck on itself. Ah, there it goes. And then we put it into, come on. Then it gets stuck on itself again. Oh, come on, you're so close. Why are you like this? And we kind of just hook it on to this bolt at the end of the battery sled. And now we come to this end and we reel it in once it gets itself figured out and isn't just going in two opposite directions. Or it snaps. That's the other option, I guess. It can do that. Sure, why not? New strategy, we're using a ratchet strap because the rope kept snapping. So let's see how this does. Well, here you go. Here's what the battery pack out of an electric looks like. Just a bunch of golf cart batteries. Each of these is six volts. They're all wired in series uh, for a nominal battery pack of 96 volts. Um, I've gone through and I've measured the voltage of all of these and all but four of them are reading 6.1. These four, for some reason, are not reading that. I actually know the reason. I It looks like they need to be watered which is easy enough. We just gotta go get some distilled water from the store and water these bad boys up and then probably give them a little bit of a top up charge. But other than that, uh, I don't think that these batteries are dead or anything. I think they just need a little bit of uh, a little bit of a boost. Other than that, this battery pack seems fine. We're reading right around 86 volts nominal, which is actually good enough to drive the car. However, I don't really wanna have these batteries out of balance. Uh, so we are going to uh, go ahead and water them charge them up, and then we'll slap them back in the car. Not very exciting, uh, but yeah, this is what the inside of an electric looks like. That's all I have to say about this. So I'm gonna water them, gonna charge them, we'll shove them back in. Let's move on to the next step. This is the controller for the electric. Uh, specifically, this is the 500 amp one, which means it's a little bit sportier uh, than the one in my panel van. However, I have good reason to believe that this one uh, doesn't work for uh, one reason or another. There's something wrong with the field driving circuit over here, and I've yet to be able to diagnose it. Um, however, uh, I do want to install this into the car, so at least it looks complete, and uh, I'll explain why later. But let's go ahead, and the first thing we got to do to make this look presentable is we got to put its cover on it. So this involves putting this on, and then there's like 50 tiny screws that hold it on so that it's airtight and watertight. 
So let's go ahead and put the cover on and then we'll get it into the car. All right, now you get to watch me genuinely struggle to get this in because um, it's terrible. Okay, I hate this part so much. Uh, I love my job. Ow, keep in mind. Oh God, that was terrible. Keep in mind, this thing weighs around 70 pounds. Alright. Oh, I want to be in some real unattractive positions here. If my boyfriend is watching this, stop watching it. Okay. Ugh. These blades are so sharp. Why did they do that? Okay, it's set there. Okay, I'm gonna have to line it up with the bolt holes. Why is there painter's tape on this? Nice, and it's in there, uh, okay. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. There's still a few small things I have to do, like put the bumpers back on, but that's a three person job and I'm the only one here right now. And it's also very uninteresting. So I'll do that off camera. Oh, the other thing is I also have to put the batteries back in, but those are on the charger right now getting refreshed. Not that it matters because the controller in this car is broken. Uh, on that topic though, I do have a new controller to put in this car. Um, and I do want to get this car running and driving soon because I want to sell this car. I'm a broke college student. I would like to put some more money in my savings and I have too many cars. Uh, so I do want to sell this car once it's running and driving and in, in mint condition. So if you have any interest in owning an electric, leave a comment below. I have no idea what these things would be worth. So I don't know, make an offer, I guess. I don't know, but these cars are not, this car is not for sale immediately. I do want to get it running and driving. Um, also, it's important to note that if you do buy this car in the future, um, I do have a stockpile of parts and I help all owners of Electrex. So it's not like if it breaks, I'm going to leave you high and dry. I am happy to come help other people fix their Electrex. Yeah, so if you're interested, leave a comment. Um, yeah, other than that, oh, Electrify Expo. That's tomorrow, because yeah, this video goes up Friday this week. Tomorrow, Electrify Expo Denver. I'll be there. This car will be there. My panel van will be there. And Jimmy Underhill's Electrek will be there. Come say hi. Come sit in them. We'll let you rev the motors on the ones that work. Uh, but yeah, come check us out there tomorrow. Yes, Saturday. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and a comment and subscribing. Uh, I do read every comment, even the mean ones, and I do cry. Um, and you guys liking and engaging with these videos allows me to do a lot more fun projects like what is maybe happening next week. I don't know. Stay tuned. The city car, I'm not allowed to say much because it's all up in the air. Anyway, your engagement means a lot and it allows me to do more fun projects like this. Um, so yeah, engage, even if it's mean because even the mean comments get me engagement. Anyway, if I don't see you at Electrify Expo, I'll see you all next week. Love ya.